YouTube. Welcome to Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. If you are new, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little notification bell and you will be informed of any new video content that I put out. So I invite you to do that. And I thought today would just be a short video chat, just a channel update and to let you all know what the plan for the week is. So I am just so happy that in just two weeks I am at 88 subscribers. So I'm almost at right at 90 subscribers and over 1400 views in just two weeks. So I am so blessed and thankful to all who have subscribed and to all who have watched and promoted my channel. I just really appreciate your support more than I can say. So I'm really excited for the future of my channel. I've learned a lot these last two weeks. So I, for those who have stuck around from the very beginning while I learn everything, thank you. Um, I, in the last two weeks, I have learned a lot about video editing. I've learned how to turn my phone so you all can see what I'm doing better. And I have, I think I've figured out a few sound issues that I'm gonna, going to be able to fix going forward. And I'm also going to try a, a couple different camera angles. I know working in my very small kitchen area is a bit challenging when it, when I'm cooking to try to work around the phone and the tripod without bumping it all the time. So I'm working out a few ideas that I'm going to try. So whenever I do that, I will let you all know and you can let me know in the comments what you guys are seeing. That really helps me out to know how to set my phone moving forward. So I really appreciate any comments that are, are left with tips on video editing. So I'm gonna be working on a new setup. I have learned how to add music and intros and outros and how to change thumbnails and how to add text to a video screen whenever I mess up the amounts on a recipe, which I do quite often. So I've, I've really learned a lot and I am going to continue to learn as, as the channel go, grows and I just invite you all along with me for the ride. I think it's gonna be a fun ride. So for this next week, I plan on doing at least two videos. I might be able to get a third in. Uh, it's a very busy week. I'm possibly starting a new job. I go for the new employee training. or It's not actually training. It's to sign all of the paperwork and to set up in-person training. I've already done the interview and all of the required computer training works so now it's just going in and giving them the rest of the paperwork and signing uh, paperwork so as far as things stand right now as soon as I can get the in-person training done I will be working as a teacher's aide slash substitute teacher so this is something totally new for me. So I may, at least for the first couple of weeks, not be putting up quite as many videos just because I will be doing orientation. I'm still working one of the current jobs that I have and will be finishing up another job. So there, there's gonna be a lot going on. I will try to get done what I can on top of all of that. I'm in a medical research program with Vanderbilt University in Nashville. So I have an overnight trip there for 
some one of my required medical visits and and to get medication that so far has really helped out a lot has kept me functioning and out of the hospital for two years so i'm really excited to be part of this research programs it's been a blessing for me so on top of all of the job things i have an overnight trip to nashville so i may may do a short video at the airports in orlando and at nashville because i'm going to be there for a long time in between flights with nothing to do all by myself so i may may post a couple videos of the airports if y'all haven't been in the orlando airport it is absolutely humongous they have everything including a hotel so they it's a huge airport so um yeah i may may try to get a couple videos of that done if i can but i have all of that going on i will be doing a food pantry haul video this week because mon this coming monday is a food pantry pickup day so i am really excited for those days because i never know what's coming in the boxes and this is meat produce and dairy day so it's just whatever they get in on the truck but it's usually some kind of fresh produce and any extra milk or eggs that they get from the grocery stores and the farmers that are about to expire they get in on their their truck to hand out to people to use up before the dates come up and it, it's just a mishmash of whatever they get in so i'm excited for that uh so i know i will have a food pantry haul video coming out I'm going to be canning up some chicken that I got from the food pantry last month. It's been in my freezer because I've been so busy the last few weeks that I haven't had time to get it canned up. But now I'll bring you guys along to show you how to pressure can and preserve your own chicken. Now, some of it I... I'm going to be raw packing, which they call ugly chicken, just because it doesn't look pretty in the jar, but it's quick as far as processing, and it really does taste a lot better than it looks. So I will be doing some of that, and I have several packs of chicken legs. I think I'm going to actually poach those. You don't have to cook those all the way through just enough to pull it off of the bone because it's going to cook in the air pressure air air pressure it's going to cook in the pressure cooker uh, for extra time so it uh, it just has to be cooked enough to pull off the bone so i think i'm gonna poach that and then put the poaching liquid in the jar with the meat when i pressure can it I was going to just put the chicken legs in the jars, but I've heard several people complain that it really smells bad when you do that. So I think I'm going to cook mine first and then pressure can it in the cooking liquid. And I, I think I'm going to have a third video come out because some of those chicken legs, I think I'm going to actually cook in my air fryer. So I'm going to bring you along and show you how I air fry some chicken legs and, and how I like those. And I also have a jar of french fries that I put up a while back. I have gotten a big bag of potatoes from the food pantry. So I can, I, I cut the potatoes up into like match sticks and can them in the jars that way. And you're supposed to be able to pull the potato sticks out of the jar and then use them for french fries either oven bake or air fry i like to air fry mine so so i think i will do some chicken legs and 
a jar of my home canned french fries and we'll see together how how good that all comes out so i'm excited for that so that's my plan for the week i already have my chicken out thawing so i do have to pressure can that tomorrow it's still pretty frozen so i'm not going to get to it today but i will pressure can that tomorrow and i will have the food pantry haul because i will do that on monday and I will probably have that, that third one for the chicken legs because I absolutely love air, air fryer chicken legs. They're just really good. I've had a lot of people ask how I do those. So I think I will bring you guys along for the ride for the air fryer chicken legs and home can french fries. So that will all be, all be this week. So that that's about it. I just wanted to thank everyone and let you all know how fast my channel is growing and that I really appreciate all the love and support you guys have given me the last two weeks and just keep on liking the videos and watching and show, showing up for the live premieres we have a lot of fun in the chat rooms we we have a wonderful community of people and we just all really enjoy each other's company a lot so feel free to stop by and then just jump in the chat anytime and let us know that you're here so we can all say hello and just keep keep on cooking and keep on canning and preserving and stocking up as much as you can when you can so if you all have been watching the news, things are heating up. It seems like we're bombarded with something or a lot of somethings every day. So just stock up when you can, how you can, and where you can. And don't forget, go to your local meat markets and ask them about Markdown Produce. I got 35 humongous beautiful overripe tomatoes that I got for $13 I ended up with eight pints of tomato sauce and half a jar of dehydrated tomato powder to use for thickenings and, and sauces and different things so ask for that markdown produce because a lot of times they will either give give you things that are on its last legs that you could still can up and use for things or they will give you produce that's marked down so don't forget to ask for that stuff a lot of store managers would rather mark stuff down or give it away rather than have it go bad in their stock room and then have to throw it away so don't forget to ask for that the pe people do want the produce in their grocery stores to be used so keep an eye out for marked down reduced price produce and just can it up dry it up store it up freeze it up and have it on hand whenever you need it so that's it for this video i will catch you all on the next one bye